All right, so let's do it again. So we can record it and you can go back and watch it. Womshu, <laughs> uh, that means are you ready? All right, so pull way behind. Ita kupi saik, paanga yu yit miak, yu lo wut wu nai, mi tak mas ma ir. Ita kupi saik, paanga yu yit miak, yu lo wut i bai wu nai, mi tak mas ma ir. A chi da tash, chi da tash, chi da tash, chi da tash, chi da and normally we make a clapper sticks with our classes so maybe sometime in the near future we'll get to make clapper sticks together kashla pish Thank you so much for singing with us and clapping with us. All right. So remember, it's cold outside. Tomorrow it's going to be it'll be cold as well. All right. So on with our language for the story. Um, there's a character in the story called Potova. And uh, again, with the written language in the story, the writers, um, the linguist, uh, Mr. Eric Elliott, um, wrote the name of this man uh, as Pau Tuvak. Uh, we know uh, him from our dictionaries um, as Potovak. Potovak is also a family name of a mountain family. So those of you from the mountains, that might be a familiar name, not sure, but uh, we do know that it's a recorded family name, Potovac. And then two other characters are Echvangawish and Paevla or Pievla. So Echvangawish is a woman and Pievla is a man in the story. Echvangawish, uh, echva is the earth or dirt. Uh, so her name means that she is connected uh, or grounded to the earth. And do we know uh, Pevla? Um, I don't know if I remember. No, but it was like how I was showing you that, the, you, how you said that she was either inside the rock well, she becomes the rock and he scoops the rock. Out. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Spoiler alert. <laughs> eh? <laughs> uh, and then, yes, uh, uh, there has been research about this story. So, eh, another, again, spelling. Uh, this came from research done in, I want to say, the 80s. Ehwanyawish is how they were referring to her. Um, and this, um, they found her rock um, in between Palomar and Rincon. So this, um, this is a reminder that these stories are not just stories. Uh, I never think of our stories as myths or legends uh, or things that are made up or not true. Um, I believe that our stories are records of our history. Um, and, you know, we again didn't have a written language, so we had to tell these stories uh, to keep our histories alive, to keep our histories with us. So, um, this type of research that people do um, is uh, further evidence of that, of, of our stories being records of our history. And then um, this is some more language. So the pa'ayat, pa'ayat is the turtle shell rattle. And then we have the soap root brush, which we don't have the language for. <laughs> we should have the language for it. We'll look for it during the break. Um, but uh, 
the soap root brushes, of course, you can use on your hair. We actually made some, but we didn't use the soap root brush. Uh, we used uh, the, the yucca? yucca, the yucca, the small yuccas um, with the fibers. Um, so yeah, they were really cute, but we couldn't find one to show you. <laughs> And then um, during the story, we have some doves. So the word for doves is mehellum, mehellum, mehellum. And then here, we're going to have the dance of the spirits. And I believe Miss Callie and Miss Vanessa will be reading the English parts. Yeah. Okay, and then Mr. Anthony will be volunteering for Champella. Yes. Mr. Anthony, are you ready to go? I am ready to go. <laughs> Righty. Are we doing Champella, Hamu, Man English, Hamu? I can start with uh, the chantella. So, uh -huh. um, okay. <coughs> okay. Uh, you make me a tahum wehna kalk. Kamanga, potung pito, potrero yaka, piahuyanga, micha shivenga opulu chakala. There were two large villages in old times, Kama, where Potrero is now, and Ahuya, where one leaves the sycamore trees. Quil Ponchi Kapinga, Choanam Kamayam, Pomkingai Moyakanik, Kariak Paawiak. When it was when it was time to gather the acorns, all people of Kama left their houses empty and went up to Palamai Mountain. Sapul Nahanma Potung Potovak, Karianik of Huyangai Vitaya Kamaanga. An old man named Patupa came up from Ahuya and stopped at Kama, thinking he would stay all night and go in the morning. Oshongai wuna potuka pi pohatiapi amuechnai supu moshkanish pilek yoti kuivichi potak poto winepanik kupuya. Wefmali yamanik tukva etahmi mrakma. He took on of the enormous acorn granary baskets, Mokwanish, that was empty, inverted it over himself for shelter, and went to sleep. Oyok wuna wiwakush nakmawet. Kikadum kalkush atahum pomaton hingemalum kikadum. Early during the night, he heard people call out the summons to dance. He lay and listened. Pomom hayaya moshkoniak, spunga laukash moshkinish, ponwin wunat nahanmo poe, wachayakat chuhikash, hingemalam yakanik tovish wunat. There were children among the people, little boys, and they came near the granary basket, and there was a torn place in it where the toes of the old man were sticking out. The boys said a spirit was there, and they ran away. Nahanma atahum shushnalam yaitum yamaik tafamu. Tapa Makwitchum from Harai Onakish. 
to chumi nakmakush tetelaka pitoyaka. The old man could recognize the voices of men and women who had died long ago. He could hear the spirits talk and hear their laugh. Supur ech mangawish miakush. Po shunga tota marika mukwish. Pi piebla po ya ash tot pomata wali mukwish. One was Ehwangawish. Uh, Ehwangawish. The woman that turned into a rock and Piyevala, the man that scooped the rock with his fingers. Piyevala wunatukwa choon helakish uhelia pomirmi potoli po alkolonga. Nahanma shoshnami. Nak Mavukatash Benaka Bellantomy. She we are show on Dukwa Nak Makinik. Pievala sang that night all the songs that had been his when alive. The old man could hear the woman's songs as they danced. He lay awake all night and listened. Not Quimkoish ponun kai pitoli potesicala, kai pitoli potesicala, kai wam poqua ticovacanic, poshun tab tavanya poha popushta tivilin. Ono a hananic ankingai moshkinish winepinic ya, hepa omom shum kaun, ehuna chonam tocham michelam markanic wapayan. Until at last, just before dawn, he could not wait any longer, but determined to see for himself. So suddenly throwing off the basket, he said, hey, are you there? And immediately all the spirits turned into a flock of doves and flew away. Pipone paaya toloa pomom ashunte chon tukva pompaaya tal pompel pomela Pokwan Wanapom Matibunga Patibunga Pipito Poek Kahawat Pokwinamu Miakush. And the t the turtle shall rattle Paya Payaya Paya Paya they had used all night for the dance he found where where they had left it, but now it was nothing but a piece of soap root. Poeta. It is finished. Thank you, Anthony, for saying poeta. <laughs> is anyone on the line familiar with the term poeta? It means it is finished. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Uh, the word for soap root is uh, kahawut, kahawut. It was there in our story, kahawut, kahawut. Uh, I have a, an example of our turtle shell rattle. It is unfinished. It has our turtle shell on the top. It's unfinished because we use it during our storytelling program. We use it as uh, I guess a prop you'd say, not that we're being disrespectful, but um, but we t use it to tell stories, so. Um, the story talks about uh, Pievla and Echvangawish. Uh, those are rocks, and if we go back to that map, there's um, there's a place again between Rincon and Temecula where those uh, people turn to rocks, and there's three of them, a, a set 
uh, of, or how do you call a pair of three, <laughs> a few of rocks, <laughs> um, but they're believed to be a girl's a puberty ceremony site. Uh, they are painted with uh, the rattlesnake guardians, which are the um, zigzag signs like diamonds. And then um, also the girl's handprint. That's part of the girl's puberty ceremony. Um, so uh, that's, again, those are markers of our history uh, and uh, of our, our ceremonies. And so um, we love this story. Um, it's also the story uh, reminds us of the trek that we take to um, Palomar every year to gather our acorns. Acorns are very important to our uh, foods our food source are a very important food source for our people. Um, I know there's some of you on the mountains, uh, you uh, have acorns all around you, the big, big acorns. And us down here, uh, ocean people, we have the small, thin acorns. <laughs> um, also edible though, but um, preferable are the big, big acorns or the black oak acorns on the mountain. Um, and we just wanted to share tonight with you uh, some of the work that we're doing, speaking of that trek to the mountains. Um, one of our traditional routes uh, is the 76. Some of you might be familiar with the 76. Um, we are, we have a grant, it's called the Mission Grant, uh, partially funded by UCSD. Um, Bye, Mr. Salvador. Thank you. Hatia. Um, but so we are trying to reclaim place names um, from our original homelands uh, in the in the West, right? So at the ocean. Um, for some of us, uh, those villages are at uh, Camp Pendleton. So from Camp Pendleton inland to Palomar Mountain, which was uh, one of the traditional routes that we took to gather acorns every season. And, we went back and forth, right? Um, so uh, we wanted to share some of those names that we are reclaiming um, and sharing and trying to leave for our young people so we don't lose sight of those names. Um, and so this is kind of what the work looks like for us. You can see there's some villages um, here, the big ones at Topame, Ushmai, uh, Palmas on there, uh, Yuima, uh, Washka, that's us, uh, Shomai, um, there's Kawet, I think that's Mesa Grande, uh, or Santa Isabel. Um, let me see the next slide. I can see them better, but you can see the route. Uh, so Ushmai is Las Flores, what is now known as Las Flores. If you guys know these places, you can let us know. If you know of other places um, that you think we should be looking at, you can put it in the chat. Um, or maybe places that you'd like to know the original names of um, that are not just on the vicinity of the 76, but maybe outline the, the 76 um, that's still part of our homelands. Um, so there's Kesh, which is San Luis Rey, um, Tokya, which is Bonzo, we know Pala, we know Palma. Um, some people might not know that Palma is uh, known uh, in our language as Palma. Um, and then of course, Ahuya, we just had in our story. Um, Kuki, we're gonna talk a little bit more about. Um, Kuki is an old name used to refer to La Jolla. Um, La Jolla has many names uh, we're finding in our research. And if anyone's on the line from La Jolla and can add to our research, that'd be awesome. Um, so go ahead, next slide. Um, this is another story we're researching. Who knows what this little guy is called? I see Avelica's hand. You can unmute Avelica. Um, uh, praying mantis. Oh, oh praying mantis. Chamtela in our language, he's Nahachish. Can you say Nahachish? Nahachish. Nahachish. Can you say that? Nahachish mm -hmm. is also known as Chahuka. 
And he's described as a godlike figure who fixes things. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> uh, he's also described as a walking stick. Wow. Um, and Nahut, Nahut is a walking stick place. Nahut. <laughs> place on La Jolla. Um, and Yapicha is a village near La Jolla. Yapicha. Mm -hmm. Can you say that? Yeah. Yeah. That is where the man who uh, handed this story down, that's where he comes from. Oh. So the man who recorded and handed down the dance of the spirits, he comes from a village on Yapicha. That's where his mom comes from. And then his dad came from a village at what is now known as Oceanside which was Topame. So, but Yapicha is known for, um, known as the billowing of the walking sticks, clothes. It says that his clothes were blown around at this place called Yapicha. Yapicha. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's the fun of the research that we're doing is connecting, connecting the people. Uh, our ancestors, of course, were, were animals uh, and plants. So connecting them to place and then connecting us to the place. Uh, the man who uh, handed this story down is my seventh great uncle. Oh, wow. uh, so it also helps connect me to my place. Uh -huh. um, and Vanessa, because Vanessa is my cousin. And Anthony, Anthony's my cousin as well. So... Um, we're very grateful to have these stories um, and to know to know our place. And then, uh, like I said, um, La Jolla uh, is traditionally known as Kuki. Again, this is through our research um, from uh, elders, from the ethnographers. Um, Kuki. La Jolla is called Kuki because of what plant do you see on the screen? But in English, there's one plant in there. Uh -oh. It's unstable. Are you sure? It says you're recording right now. Yeah. <laughs> so kooky is a derivative of the word coop pot or coop pish. In La Jolla, you say coop pish. Down here, we say coop pot. But it means elderberry. And the old timers used to call uh, La Jolla kuki because kuki means to thresh. There was so much elderberry, they were threshing the, the berries from the elderberry. I meant that. <laughs> and then over time, it became known as Potrero, and then over time, La Jolla. Uh oh. What is that? Huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you all have questions for us? Or like I said, any? Do you have a any question, honey? Names or suggestions? Well, I, but mommy, I said I can't name the music. What's your, what's your question? Um, I guess. What is it? Um, Go ahead, sweetie. What's your question? I don't have a question. Quila, do you have a question? Why did um his blanket look like pink slime? Oh gosh. <laughs> did you hear that? Why did what? Um his blanket look like pink slime. <laughs> oh, in the story? It's just our lips on the computer, baby. That's all. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we we'll go back and check. <laughs> <laughs> this one? Um no. Right there? Yeah. <laughs> it just looks that way because it's the computer, honey. This is the two computer. That's <laughs> Good question, though. <laughs> you know what I did want to tell you about Nahachish? Um, there's always so much we want to share, and I, I forget, but Nahachish, uh, there's a story about him going to 12 different places. 
Um, and so we're putting together a story of him going to all these different places. Wow. And we're hoping that you can help us with that. Do you see the pictures in the story? How somebody drew them? Yeah. Yeah. Would you guys like to help us draw them? What? Yes, please. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so go to the one with the rock on it. I think it's um up ahead. Well, there's here's one, right? This is a drawing. So yeah, we would like to get help from our friends drawing our our place, uh, the places, all the places that praying mantis goes. Mm -hmm. So we were thinking between now and next week, maybe you guys can think about drawing um, Nahachish. Nahachish. What do you think? You think you can draw a picture of Nahachish? Oh. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> say, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, you could also maybe think about where Nahachish went. We know he went to Pachanga. We know he went to Yapicha. Right? Um, where else do we know that he was? <laughs> so we know he was at Temecula. We know he was at Warner Ranch. So. So yeah, you guys think about uh, helping us with something like that if you'd like. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh no, nope. thank you guys. Anyone else have questions about tonight's stories or? Anthony, do you want to add anything about the place name project or anything that you found that was interesting in our research? Um. Although it takes a lot of work, it's always a it's always amazing to learn a lot more about my traditional culture and where my people came from and where they lived. Mm -hmm. And um, it's always very empowering to know that to learn that stuff. Thank you. All right, you guys. Thank you for being with us tonight. Oh. Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> you have a question, buddy? Oh, someone has a question. Well, say if you want to. Um. Uh. I. I. I don't know if we. He still. Will have it, but um. But my sister her found an oh. egg sack in the backyard. For mantises. Her, what? Yeah, for mantises. I. I, I did. I. I don't know. Well, if it's still there or not, we haven't really like gone on to play outside as much, much as we used to. But um, but um, we're gonna see but, if it hatched. But but um, but we but when we he he played outside and we were like like we all wanted to go out 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 to the backyard and and, and see if and see if the man and his this is hatch yet. And if and I think one time Oh no, she couldn't. <laughs> Thank you guys. You were cutting in and out, but you guys oh, there you are. I think they're not maybe we, we can hear you now. Okay, there you okay. go. Okay. You paused, but we could tell by your faces that it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> they just showed that they uh, found a menace egg sack and we're waiting I for it. Found to it. Yeah. Wow. That's awesome. Well, let us know. Let us know if it hatched. Say thank you again, guys. Thank you. Why you pun? Why you pun? Why you pun? Why you Why you pun? 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 Why you Okay. <laughs> we just have to watch you go. Everyone else too, thank you so much for joining us. See you next week. Bye. Still waiting for
No, they're introducing themselves. All right, Professor. <laughs> <laughs> 